Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're going to make our player Walter, just like the user Dennis Galek asked for. So let's get started, and for that I'm going to add a script to it. So add component, new script, wall jump, and supposedly this will be a very simple thing, but because because we did some stuff related to the base speed that I'll explain in a minute, we have to do some little changes. Anyways, let's open that script. And the way that this is going to work is if we press the the up key, so just like we if we were on the ground, so if we are on the ground, we press the W key to jump. If we press the W key whenever we are near the wall, then it will shoot us at the the opposite direction, and it will change our scale. So first off, to wall jump, we have to make sure that we are not on the ground. So to and to make that happen. We're making here the, the reference for the for the main script where the player moved, and that script was the simple player zero script. So let me close all of this. This script was the script that handled the movement and the jumping and whatnot of the player. We're creating a reference to it, so simple player zero movement, and we want the movement to be equal to the get component. And now we're going to setting that script to be the get component so get component simple player zero and this will find that script for us in the player so it will make the movement be equal to this script right here save and now we have that script right here and now what we want to do is if the player presses the W key just like to jump if get key down key code dot w and we also want to check if the player is not on the ground. So and movement. We're going to access that script dot grounded, which is which checks if the player is not on the ground. So and if not grounded, meaning if it's in the air, then we can wall jump. This is not the only thing that you'll need to wall jump. You would also have to be near a wall. So to make, to check if you are near the wall, you have to use a raycast. So I'm going to use a raycast. Hit. 2D hit and this is the return type of physics 2D dot recast so physics 2D but recast because as you can see it returns a recast 2D and if you don't know what that is there's some links in the description the origin of this in the is in the position of the player and this will point to the direction of the player so vector 2 dot right times transform dot local scale dot x just like we did in many other tutorials and it will have certain distance that will change manually so I'm going to put here a variable for it public float distance and let's set it to be equal to 1 by default and let's make it show up here on the void on draw gizmos function so that you can see it in the in unity so I'm going to set the color to it, it can be green and let's draw that Rika so gizmos.draw line and the origin is the position of the player so transform of position and the end point is the transform of position oops transform plus this times the distance and if you don't know why what's this we should see the tutorials on blinking because we, we use this like all the time save oops like that and here let me see it's because it's a vector 2 and should be a vector 3 and right now you should be able to see something in here oops okay and Although we have like a thousand other stuff over here, I'm going to change the color to red so that we can see it better. And now you should be able to see a red line over here. And as you can see, there's a red line over here. And I want that red line to go to be a little bit smaller, so maybe like so. So if the player is at this, so maybe like here, the player will. Hold already be able to double jump so I'm just going to put the line the distance a little bit smaller like so and now as you can see 
the distance goes into here the this is the the recast and i don't want this recast to hit the player so because supposedly it will always hit the player so what i'm going to do is fix to the dot recast start in colliders equals false so if it doesn't start inside the player so that it doesn't collide with the player always like that and now i want to check if the hit dot collider which is whatever the raycast collided with, whatever that line collided with isn't null, meaning if it collided with something, then we want the player to to, get, to jump to to wall jumps. And to wall jump just put here get component rigid body 2D dot parentheses dot velocity equals new vector two and we're going to give it a certain speed times the normal of whatever we hit so I'm going to create a, a variable public variable called speed public float speed and let's make it equal to 2 by default and I want the player to shoot to the speed so right now the player will be shot will would go always in the in this direction but we're going to use the hit dot normal to change whatever the, the direction is and what the normal is is basically a point is basically a vector that points from whatever we hit to the perpendicular of, of that so if we have a recast that goes from it doesn't matter where into uh, here and we hit this surface the normal will be the perpendicular vector to it with one of magnitude so because this is goes in this direction you just make here 90 degrees and that's the normal and here the same happens but in the other direction so with that in mind this should be how it's done now we also want to change the direction of the player so to change the direction all you have to do is to change the scale so let's make a, a ternary operator here so transform that local scale of the player is equal to equals and now we want to check if the transform of local scale dot x equals to one. And now the ternary, this is how the ternary operator works. The whatever we put after the question mark is what will this be if this is true. So if that's true, we want the new vector to be equal to a vector two minus one one. And then we put here two points, which is and after this is what this will be if this is false so it is equal to a vector 2.1 like so and let's put some semicolon and now this should do it oh let's see what's wrong oh and this is the only thing that matters is the x of the normal because the y does is not relative is not important we want it only the only thing we need is the x so here the x will be minus 1 here the x will be 1 so that's basically a multiplier just like we did with the transform of local scale over here and with that done now supposedly this should be working but like I said because we did some weird stuff in some tutorials ago this weird stuff happens where you see that the cat turns around and it kind of stands in its place instead of just being shot out of there and that's because of the base speed thing and let me explain to you what this base speed, speed thing is so the base speed is this thing, which is this thing that we use like a hundred times in the symbol player zero script is the velocity whenever the player is when whenever we are pressing any key so imagine that we are pressing any key but we are on a, a platform then the base speed will be equal to the speed of the platform and that's what's kind of messing this up because we are not pressing any key so the base speed is zero and whenever the base speed is zero the the y speed will be zero if we aren't moving any key so to make that not happen all i have to do there's two things that we have to do if you have if you have this thing done because if you don't you probably have already finished and you can go away okay i'm going to delete this part over here on the simple player zero script on collision enter Right now, whenever we enter the collision, so if I enter this, the base speed will be equal to zero, and I don't want that. 
So save it. And now I also have to change the base speed here. I want the base speed to be equal to something. So that we can actually make this this velocity change. So I have to go into the movement script. So movement dot base speed and make it equal to the speed times hit dot normal. So this is the basically is equal to the x speed, so we're just putting that there, the x speed here, and now the it should be working better, but not yet, but not yet, totally fine. So right now if I go onto a wall, it's kind of working, and you think, oh, that's working totally fine, but here in the wall jump script, I need to put here void on collision enter 2D with the collision to the call, and I want to put here some things. So what I want to do is check if we are wall jumping, and if we are not wall jumping, I want the base speed to go back to what it was. So. And when do we stop wall jumping? Well, we stop wall jumping whenever we collided with something. So I'm going to have to create that variable wall jumping. Bool wall jumping. Okay, so whenever this happens, I want wall jumping to be true. So wall jumping equals true. Else, if we hit something, so if the ray cast has hit something, so meaning the ray, the collider of the ray cast isn't low, and we are wall jumping, wall jumping, then I want wall jumping to be false. False. Okay. And now with this done, we can use this wall jumping variable here to determine which should be the base speed. And I know that this is a bit complicated right now, but basically what's happening is. Whenever we are wall jumping, it means that we are in midair and we want the base speed, which is the, the speed whenever we are not pressing any key to remain at, in this case, 10 or minus 10. But as soon as we hit something, we want the speed to go back to zero, the base speed. I put this platform closer so that, can just, so that I can get it out of here faster. And as you can see, although I hit there or in something, I keep moving although I'm not even pressing any key. So to change that, all I have to do is, is to make if I'm not wall jumping or if I hit the ground, so if or movement dot grounded, then I want the base speed of the movement script to be equal to zero. So movement dot base speed equals zero. So save and now if I get out of here you'll see that as soon as I hit the ground, I will stop, just like intended. So as you can see, I've stopped over there, and I'm not moving, and that's exactly what we wanted. Anyways, that's it for today guys, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, and see you in the next one.